Heavy is what he said because that makes sense. he yeah because cake is cake's di is very sporadic yeah and he knows like because cake is going to di like pretty well just from experience yeah you just need to know when to go in and when to not mm -hmm. when to catch options when to not it's all over when to realize like I'm overextending here slightly yeah. but I can bait them out by like making them think I'm overextending <laughs> when I'm not going to yeah. That's Hen, a lot of this game. Hen, Hen is especially going to be an interesting match for Fruit Loops as well because they're they they've made a mantra for themselves trying to be the most aggressive cell in New York. In New York. In New York. The and same I, state as you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's what I. Uh, Hen plays Sylv and Fruit Loops plays Rana. No problem. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see because. Hen has gotten a lot better recently, and with, with Rochester as their home turf, uh, they've got some decent practice against players that are certainly capable of holding their own if we saw a hit from Niceness earlier. And also, Fruit Loops was asking me for advice, specifically because he struggles with this matchup a lot, apparently. This matchup is weird. This matchup is very strange, but a lot of it is just... 100 0 so favor. Yeah. <laughs> Just to try and make you upset, but he didn't take the bait. Yeah. Good parry there. Running away in order to get the proper timing on it, or the easier timing, I guess. A big thing that Rano's like to do in this matchup that I don't, like, I tell people every time it happens. That was uh, not fair. Yeah, that was not fair, but missing out the opportunity. Is Rano's in this matchup like to press uh, single needle up, the single needles a lot, mm -hmm. and that doesn't threaten Sylv at all because his threat range is so big. Yeah, the thing about it is, it's only really meant as an annoyance. Like it's yeah. meant to just sort of be like, haha, I got a little needle on you, but it doesn't yeah. actually like accomplish much, I guess. Mm -hmm. But that's just needles as a whole. It's very rough. Yeah, the needle boost? Go crazy? Oh, oh that was a good idea. That, yeah. Oh, good trade, actually. Forget that moves in the game. What, self banner? No, or the, the uh, yeah, needle yeah. star. This is a rough scenario to be oh, in, but... No, up smash at the ledge, not quite getting that. Yeah. Oh, oh, no up smash, come smash. on! Yeah, that definitely up smash. <laughs> You're in five! <laughs> <laughs> That's all you that. people do! <laughs> no! <laughs> all right. Either way, this is looking like a solid lead from Hen here. This is a lot, like... Yeah. Hen More is, than I expected. This is looking like you in terms of punish game no, dude, a little bit. Hen has been uh, actively like hitting me up saying like, hey, what do you do in this scenario? What do you do like this? And they've been taking after uh, my playstyle a lot where I just like to choke you out on stage. And just like make you feel helpless. And it's looking like Fruit Loops is a little bit, I'm feeling a little bit helpless himself. Just barely not getting that. The back air still not killing at 160. Nice tongue, that actually, but I think you could have just rolled up smash. Ah, damn it! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fruit Loops. Jesus! Oh, the wall jump! Fruit Loops need to play. Needs to Please be just more get the kill already! Oh, that was side <laughs> up smash, but I'm not quite gonna get it. Oh, the hands at 200. Oh, there you go. Head might is, be able to get the upset, yeah. or might be able to reverse it now because of how dangerous his punish game is, but this is a scary... This is not looking good. Yeah. <laughs> if Syl if Syl has uh, Mark Rydis right about now, that'd be perfect for Fruit Loops, but it's not looking like it with how Hen's been playing so far. They just keep tacking on this percent. But Fruit Loops is bringing it back at least a little bit. The uh, top, the yep. Go into the ground, I told him place. specifically, though. All right, whatever. Yeah. It's a good option. It's a very good mix-up where you just burrow into the top of stage, set down grass, and then chomp in place. Yeah. It's scary. Like, a lot of people don't really expect it. And for this is clearly the Yeah. Wow. It, 190. It was a very, very high percent. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable having a kill confirm at 190. <laughs> Sylph. Imagine yeah. having a kill confirm. <laughs> yeah. On that DI, it was a confirm. Maybe. Yeah. If he, went, uh, if he went out... But the thing is, you go out and then you're a disadvantage, so it's not like yeah. I blame him for going in. Mm -hmm. But this is way definitely you live. yeah. All right, well, let's mm -hmm. hope for something more competitive the next game Certainly. because 
Uh, kind of picked a treetop. I don't like this as Rono, but I don't think Silv likes Silv this either yet. typically doesn't like this? I know Hen specifically has told me that they really like this stage. I don't understand that. I don't either. But Zora, is, Zora and TK also likes this stage. So maybe, maybe it's a thing for me. I don't know. Because it's less space to control. And it's, yeah. you could be a lot more choky. But Silv is someone who... His threat range is very, like... Kind of thrives on the space a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, it's almost like... Because he has a yeah. huge threat range, but it almost relies on having all of that. Like... Ooh. The upper setups? Not quite going to do it. Hen panicking a little bit, because they're not getting stage control out right. Like last game. The back air stalls! Oh, not quite. That's exactly what I told him to do in that scenario. Good catch! Nice. Because... A lot of people overthink it with the Silva uh, burrowing when they don't have grass, when it's no, really it's, just like literally just top. It's like, literally just hit him. Yeah, like hit him. If he's forced into that scenario, doesn't have an option. Yeah. For Luke's pairing these jab jab specials from Pat now, this is looking like a lot different of a game. Yeah, no, this is looking like the complete opposite of the previous game. Yeah. Good side B. No tech Stop there. Stop up smashing an edge hand. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Very different from the first game. It's looking literally the exact opposite. Oh my god. That's what you get when yep. you have two momentum-based, extremely high punish game players. Gotcha. Waiting for the option, but Fruit Loop's not falling for it. Not quite gonna get it. Hence, hence not got as much save control. But it's rough. It's Ooh, not quite gonna do it. Oh, oh my god, what was that? F Smash is not very active. Did you know there are seven frames in between each hit of F Smash? That makes, that explains that scenario very well because, oh! Yep, there you go. Because you can get the invincible, invincible ledge dash in between those. I've never oh, really seen a runner do bubble, that. Oh, even bubble, that's still killed. That's always fun. You go to bubble for safety oh. and then it doesn't love you. It doesn't love you. I wonder if we're going to see the same thing from Hen here, where they just kind of bring it back a little bit, but then falter on a second stop. Maybe. Maybe just bring it back all the way, Who though. Knows? Because, oh, nope. never mind. Yeah, never mind. Da -da -da -da. We did that. You did that. All right, so what's going to happen in the next game? Because we have a two-stock the first game, two-stock the next game from the opposite player. It's very, very on point, both of these. It's definitely a good adaptation on Fruit Loops' part, but I wonder if Hen's going to bring that back the same way. That was so good. I didn't even notice yeah, that dude, when that happened. That was such I a good conversion. I was, like, I was like, wow, that's crazy. Like, the fact that E-Space did just right to get to the platform right as it happened. Yeah, that was awesome. So that was three up smash. That was me versus. That was me doing the three up smashes for Stealth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And bringing it to Merchant for for uh, even Steven. Uh, no Game three. Effect, no nothing. Again with the tongue on the burrow there. It's just oh, such I'm a. Not quite getting the punish off it though. It's such a good option just having the tongue for the burrow. It's very good. A hundred zero so favor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hen needs to put down the stage control a little more because when they got that stage control, they just they just remained in control that whole game. And I that. was expecting a needle loose there. And okay. All right, Hen, I see you. <laughs> up side B, up air one. Already looking a lot closer, which is what I expected to yeah, see given to see the Fair. momentum swing of both games last set. Or last set. In the up previous smash. two games. Not quite going to do it. Getting hit by the dive kick. Waiting for the option. Oh, just barely eking out of that because the up air, or, or the up B extended the hurtbox down. Yeah, so they were a lot higher out of the hit stun than you would have expected because mm -hmm. you hit it Only so much you can really do about that. Oh, good fair. Yeah, bad DI on Fruit Loops part, but. Catching that. Hen kind of running with it now. That not, might no. not quite Silva's as heavy. Heavy boy. Ooh. And the DI out, out actually, there was like a slight drift out there. Had he di had him di in. Uh, I'm trying to run away from the side, but you can't. You can't outrun it. <laughs> that should be it. Yeah. Ooh, good up air. I was going to say earlier, the drift out just slightly prevented uh, Fruit Loops from getting a double bear confirm into a kill. Oh, oh my, my god. god, fair out of hit stun. The mash fair. Oh, you gotta go back. They just keep tonguing. 
I take full credit for all of your stunts. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of, uh... Oh, jeez. I was going to say, another thing that I mentioned to, uh, Fruit Loops is the diagonal approaches versus yeah. a lot of selves, because... It is very good, because that's his main blind spot. He Ooh. does sort of have the dash and up air, but that takes a bit. Vanair! Vanair training with the back air. This is not looking good for Hen here. But Fruit Loops kind of just dancing at the top plats and exploiting that weakness perfectly. Aye, aye. It's not looking good. Yeah, this is looking kind of spaghetti on Hen's part, but it, it's definitely doable given their punish game. Absolutely. Oh, God. The trade. They're just trying to get out any way they can. Good back air. Oh, yeah. boy. Good fair. That Send might be it. it. Not, Not quite. quite. Yeah. Didn't get that Good DI upper. on the second one. Yeah. Don't up smash. Don't do it. Okay. Smash, but didn't kill. It's not enough. I'm trying to go for. Oh. I was talking to Hen there because they were doing yeah, a lot of those. They, they do. That is the thing they are known for in Rochester: up smash and ledge. And yep. it's one of the number one self mistakes I see. Probably the number one. Oh, that could have been a down Oh, tilt. the flower extended the hurt box. Oh, that's oh. it. That's it for sure. Nope. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, that's it. I was going to say, I would have upbeat into Whirly Darly there. Good stuff, good stuff. That yeah. was a fun set to watch. The yeah, last game was a bit more Fruit Loops saver. I take all the mm -hmm. credit for that, and Fruit Loops <laughs> give me all their earnings. <laughs> they haven't made any earnings yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. It is too early. But either way, yeah. Solid set to end it out on. <laughs> Fit in both the commentators' characters, actually, which is kind of cool, kind of thematic. That's it? Uh, no, we cast her swap from here. No, like, that's it for the wave. Oh, yeah. Because we go into doubles now? Yes? We didn't see a single ZB yeah. game. We didn't. Huh? We did not. ZB Where's ZB? I don't know. ZB was in the other pool, I think. I had, a, I had everything set up to talk about how it's impossible to figure out what ZB does. ZB is so. a very weird player, yeah. but you can catch him in a lot of stuff. All right. Well, I guess it's caster <laughs> swap time. That was confusing as an end. I yeah. thought we had at least like two more sets, but apparently not. Yeah. All right. Either way, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, I hope you stay for more as we swap commentators to get some more sets going for y'all. I think if anything, top 16 is next, so we would get more viewers. Double stop four. Is what it I'm is. stupid. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Either. Either way, yeah.